Hello and welcome everybody. This video is for the ICAC students who are going to sit for the semester one very new pattern and uh, during the time of pandemic online offline and so many questions are there at least the OMR thing is uh, no more a trouble because OMR sheet you don't have to solve you don't have to bubble it uh, you don't have to worry about the OMR sheet like the CBSC children have to do so it will be just your paper where you have to solve your answers nothing new in it and uh, you have to take the correct answer and uh, so today's topic will be from the blue bead you see the blue bead is a topic which is quite big one and different types of questions can be set from here i have uh, placed for you 30 questions i hope almost 90 percent of the topic is discussed here only through mcqs and if you have prepared the lesson and you take it as a mock test i hope you'll be able to solve all of these questions easily and if you have here and there one or two doubts do ask me in the comment section that's all let's begin without any delay so let's begin model test paper multiple choice questions icac uh, semester 1. You know that you will be getting uh, at least uh, 30 questions uh, or around 25 questions from a particular topic over here you will get it from the blue bead. So without any delay let's continue with our topic. Choose the correct option. If you solve this I hope all your doubts would be clarified and if you have any doubts do write to me in the comment section. All right. What did CBR carry to work? Question number 1. Is it a sickle? Is it a hay fork? Is it uh, edge rake or is it both A and B? So yes, it was both a sickle and a hay fork. So if it is both of it, then you see that kind of an option, which is option number 4. So it will be both A and B. Coming to the second question, what was the Kashmiri traveling merchant not selling? You have to be very particular about these words, not selling. So what was he not selling? Is it a box containing gems? No, he was selling that. Opals? Yes, he was selling that. Silks like cream? Yes, he was selling that too. Number four, a box which when pressed, a bell tinkled and a yellow chicken started clucking. But yes, over here started clucking is not the point. It just jumped out was written over there. It did not start clucking. So that is why option number four is wrong. Yes, there was a box. Yes, that uh, when, uh, when the bell tinkled, the yellow chicken came out. But it did not start clucking. So it is option number four, which is incorrect. Question 3. Where was the Kashmiri traveling merchant going? Is it a market? Is it the village? Is it the bungalows or the railhead? Yes, it is the bungalows. Next, coming to the fourth question. Such thoughts did not trouble Sibia. What thoughts were these? So, what are these thoughts that did not trouble Sibia? Is it uh, she had to work all day yet got little or no money? Is it that she had to husk corn? Is it that she had to cook and weed? Is it that she worked but the profit was made by the agent? Yes, the last one. She had to work constantly and the agent used to just, you know, uh, take a puff of their hookah and did not do anything but earned all the profit. Yes, this did not bother Sibia at all. Right. Next question, well, let's move to question number 5. Why was it best to have new necklaces every year uh, as the last years became faded as the necklaces were made by, made by SIDS? You see number 1 is correct, number 2 is also correct because yes the necklaces were made by SIDS. So the third option that is also correct because both A and B are correct, none of the above is wrong. So it has to be option number 3. Let's move to number num question number 6. What were the ornaments that Sibia dreamt of? Is it the bangles that she dreamt of? Is it the nose pins, ear cuffs or all of the above? Yes, it is only bangles. It is not all of, of the above because it was nose ring, not nose pin. It was not ear cuff, it was ear ring. Okay, so it is going to be only bangles. Next, let's move to question number seven. The nomadic graziers abandoned the place when? When did they abandon or leave the place? Is it because they were not able to sell enough milk in white butter? Yes, this is correct. Number two, there was nobody to buy buffaloes for milk. No, this is wrong. When a tiger attacked the gujars in the forest, when the tiger, when a cattle killing tiger created a nuisance or making a nuisance of himself, this was there. So this means that only number one is correct not number two or number three or all of the above. Let's move to question number eight. The men and boys in the Gujar camps were out to dash. What were they doing outside the men and boys in the Gujar camps? Were they selling their produce in the bazaar? Yes. Number two, gone with the herd? Yes, this is also true. Gone to fetch the buffaloes? No, this is wrong. So option number four is correct where both A and B options are correct. 
Let's move to question number nine. The Gujar woman and Sibia were similar. They were both number one poor, number two jungly, number three both A and B. That means both poor and jungly. None of the above. So the similarity between Gujar woman and Sibia is that they are jungly. All right. Next, coming to question number ten. You see, this is a very fast series. We are doing it very fast because there is limited time for exam, and uh, soon you will uh, start with your examination, and there will be not much practice because you will have to prepare for other examinations. So we will try to finish this off as fast as possible so that you can prepare the next chapter, and then we can come up with the other MCQs, other thirty, twenty, whatever MCQs I can prepare. Um, I'll come up, and you'll be able to solve. Them and find out how much prepared you are. So, which word below is a perfect synonym of four bears? Is it parent? Is it grandfather? Is it ancestor? Is it all of the above? So, it is not grandfather. It is ancestor. Okay, because over here we are talking about ancestors, the Gujars, who for time from the like from their ancestors they have been doing the same thing. Next, we move to question number eleven. How old was Sibia? Was she twelve? This is a very probable question. I've seen in many question papers the same question coming, repeating itself again and again. So, is it twelve? Is it thirteen? Is it ten? Is it nine? How much? Yes, it is twelve. Next, let's move to question number twelve. Which bird flirted and trilled on the white on the sun whitened stepping stones? Is it the kingfisher? Is it the flycatcher? Is it the thrush? Is it the sparrow? Uh, you may make a mistake in the kingfisher and flycatcher, but yes, it is the flycatcher. Option number two. Question number thirteen. The crocodile requires dash water to survive. What kind of water does it require? It requires tepid water. But you see, option number three is tepid, but the spelling of tepid is wrong, isn't it? So this is wrong. Why? Because there is this is not a spelling error uh, made uh, by the uh, made by me because I am the paper paper setter here. It is because lukewarm is also an option here. When lukewarm is an option, then lukewarm would be the correct option. But why? Because stupid also means lukewarm. So when lukewarm is there, don't worry about the spelling. If the spelling is wrong, leave it. Choose lukewarm. All right. Next question number fourteen. Which one is not the prey of the crocodile? According to the story, the blue beetle. Not the prey of the crocodile is asked. Is it a duck? Is it the pie dog? Is it the skeleton cow? Or none of the above? See. It is all of them. So which one is not the prey of the crocodile? It is going to be none of the above because pie dog, dark skeleton cow, all were the prey of the crocodiles. Whichever it got, it would have whatever time probably. Question number fifteen. What was the same color? What was of the same color as the little girl Sibia? Is it the dusty ground? Is it the earth color drag? Is it the mud house or both A and B? Here we have to see that you see dusty ground is also the same color of earth colored uh, earth, or it is also of the same color of the mud house, all brown and same as Sibia's skin color. But as is written in the book directly, it is of the same color to the Ground the dusty ground. Okay, so as it is directly written in the book, dusty ground. We are going to choose ground itself, not the other options. Let's move to question number sixteen. What could Sibia smell as she passed the bazaar? Was it the smell of drains? Was it honey confections? Was it sweets? All of the above. Yes, it is all of the above because everything smell good or bad. She could smell over there the sweets as well as the honey confections and the smell of drains. All right. I hope till this much everybody it's it's crystal clear to you. If you have any doubts, you know you have to write to me in the comment section. I'll try hard to answer your queries. And yes, if you have uh, liked my video till this much and you followed it till here, do subscribe to my channel and uh, help me to grow so that soon I can bring up more MCQs with you. And this is kind of a boost to my channel. And it is such a great pleasure to have you all with me to add to my family. Thank you so much. Let's move to question number. Uh, question number sixteen. Oh, question number sixteen is done. So we move to question number seventeen. The cloth stall had new cotton cloth stamped at the edge with the maker's sign. What was the sign? Now, what is the sign that is there? You know, every cloth it has the maker's stamp or the sign. So, what is the sign? Is it the lion's head? Is it the giraffe's head? Is it the wolf's head or the tiger's head? Yes, it is the tiger's head. So you have to see. You see how you know you have to minutely. Take care of these points. Otherwise, if you miss any one, you will miss a mark. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर 18 व्हिच वर्क वाज नॉट डन बाय सीबीआर अकॉर्डिंग टू द स्टोरी व्हिच इज द वर्क दैट इज नॉट डन बाय सीबीआर इज इट हस्किंग कॉर्न इज इट पुटिंग डंग टू ड्राई वॉश यूटेंसिल्स इन फेच्ड वाटर शी डिड नॉट वॉश यूटेंसिल्स इन फेच्ड वाटर इट इज नॉट रिटन इन द बुक इवन इफ शी डज इट वी डू नॉट नो इट बिकॉज़ इट इज नॉट रिटन इन द बुक सो इट इज गोइंग टू बी फोर बोथ ए एंड बी दैट इज पुट डंग टू ड्राई एंड हस्ट कॉर्न लेट्स मूव टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 19 व्हिच वर्ड इज एन एग्जांपल ऑफ ओनोमेटोपिया ओनोमेटोपिया sound of words right like zigzag like uh, okay let's see snapped no la la beaches that is the name of a seed scarlet seeds it is going to be rattling swish the swish sound that is a sound word so it is going to be onomatopoeia next onomatopoeia is a figure of speech remember just like metaphor and simile question number 20 the gujar woman wore trousers uh, what kind of trousers were they were wearing is it tight and short at the ankles is it tight and wrinkled at the ankles is it loose and tight just near the ankles none of the above it is tight and wrinkled at the ankles that is option number 2 next question number 21 the bazaar sold tin trays from is it brisbane is it barcelona is it belgrade is it birmingham as you all know it is going to be birmingham next question number 22 what is a juggernaut you have found this word when we were describing the crocodile in uh, in this chapter the initial uh, pages of the of the story so juggernaut it is a powerful creature yes it is a huge sized creature yes is a huge and powerful creature so you see this is the point which has everything both huge and powerful so option number 3 is correct question number 23 the gujar woman's jewelry was made of what it was made of silver it was made of silver rings it was made of melted rupees it was made of lead if you have read the story very very minutely you will be able to answer this question those were melted rupees that uh, the ornaments the jewelry that she wore next coming to question number 24 what is a machine machine is a long mouth crocodile no that is gharial magar uh, that is the other type of crocodile the great turtles no it is tiger like fishes machine is tiger like fishes coming to question number 25 why did the woman talk loudly while crossing the river why were they talking remember when they were talk when they were crossing the river in uh, groups they were talking from the end to the first one why so to shrug off tiredness no to finish work early no to scare the crocodile nearby because they knew that the crocodile is there in the river somewhere so if they keep talking the crocodile will also be afraid and will not attack them all right next question number 26 what dug in the collar bone of sibia while she was returning with her grass remember she had a lot of loads to carry the paper grass and she also had that sickle or hay fork she was carrying something i'm very sorry for the background noise i'm extremely extremely sorry let's read it again what dug in the collar bone of sibia while she was returning with her grass is it the hay fork is it the sickle is it her huge load is it her fork it is her hay fork okay that was there uh, near his collar near her collar bone and that is why it was hurting the collar bone it was digging inside it next coming to question number 27 uh, why was sibia late sibia was late remember she returned later than other the other than the other women did that is why she met the gujar woman who was hurt by the crocodile so why was sibia late she had more work to finish no they finished their work together she had wasted time in watching the broad river no she looked at the broad river but she did not waste her time she was imagining herself as a bird gliding down the cliff no that did not make him delay her so the last option is correct she wanted to see her little clay cups she was very you know she was very uh, she loved to make these clay cups and use and she was also wanted to paint them with some colors so she wanted to see if her clay cups were ready okay next question number 28 sibia thought oh the two good vessels gone what does this tell you about sibia she was greedy no she was not greedy the otherwise she would not have helped the gujar she would have directly jumped into the river to get those good vessels she did not care about the gujars no she cared she tried to help her out taking life risk next the irony of poverty yes this one can be correct the helplessness of sibia sibia was not helpless she tried to save whatever she could do she did so it is the irony of poverty that although she sees such a drastic thing happening although she sees that the crocodile has attacked the the, the lady she is also worried about the gharas or the gurras because she is very very poor all right next question number 29 how did sibia stop the gujar's wound initially with sand with mud with her own cloth none of the above as is written in the book it was 
with sun. Okay. Next, coming to the last question for today. After 30 questions, I hope all your doubts are clarified. And let's see the last one. Let's take the last one and call it a day. Jungle track was much used at night by tuskless elephants, by makna, by malaria mosquitoes, all of the above. Yes, it is number four. All of the above because that jungle track was used by all. Mosquitoes were also there. The makna, the tuskless elephants, these are the same. Makna and tuskless elephant, they were also there. So it was used by all. So all of the above. I hope till this much everything is clear. Thanks for watching the video for so long. Bearing with me and solving your queries and trying to solve this MCQ. Uh, if you have liked it, as you can see the button below, the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so that as soon as I upload more MCQs, you get them directly before the exam. That's all and hope to meet you in the next video. Bye-bye everybody.